Hey there curious minds. Welcome back to Factbox. Today, we're delving into a topic that has puzzled scholars, theologians, and curious minds alike for centuries. Why was Jesus crucified? Stick around because we're about to embark on a journey through history, theology, and a touch of intrigue. I promise, it's going to be a fascinating ride. But before we dive into the nitty gritty, let me throw a question at you. Have you ever wondered why a figure as influential as Jesus would end up on a cross? Well, you're not alone. Let's peel back the layers of history and explore the deeper meaning behind this pivotal event. To understand why Jesus was crucified, we need to rewind the clock a couple of thousand years. Picture this, a world filled with political unrest, religious tension, and an undercurrent of rebellion. Now, imagine a charismatic figure, Jesus, who stirred the pot with revolutionary ideas and a message that challenged the status quo. In the midst of all this, Jesus became a symbol of hope for the oppressed and a thorn in the side of the ruling authorities. His teachings of love, compassion, and equality threatened the power structures of the time. Now, when you mix divine messages with earthly power struggles, you get a recipe for conflict, and that's exactly what happened. Fast forward to the infamous night in Gethsemane. Jesus is arrested, and the wheels of a trial start turning. The charges against him? Blasphemy and claims of being the king of the Jews. Now, imagine this trial not in a modern courtroom but in the turbulent political climate of ancient Judea. At this point, you might be thinking, well, that explains the charges, but why the extreme punishment of crucifixion? Great question! Crucifixion wasn't just about punishment, it was a powerful tool used by the Romans to send a message. A brutal, public execution designed to quash any thoughts of rebellion. Now, let's sprinkle in a bit of Roman flair, they were masters at psychological warfare. Crucifixion wasn't just about the physical agony, it was a spectacle, a deterrent for anyone daring to challenge the authority of Rome. It was a way of saying, cross us, and this is your fate. But the story doesn't end there. For many, the crucifixion of Jesus carries a deeper, spiritual significance. Christians believe that through the sacrifice, Jesus took upon himself the sins of humanity, offering redemption and a path to salvation. It's a profound and, for many, a deeply moving aspect of their faith. As we reflect on this historical event, it's essential to appreciate the layers of meaning woven into the crucifixion of Jesus, a convergence of political unrest, religious tension, and a profound spiritual message. And here's a thought to ponder, in the face of adversity, how do our own beliefs and actions shape the world around us? It's a question that transcends time and remains relevant in our lives today. As we wrap up our exploration into why Jesus was crucified, I'd love to hear your thoughts. Drop a comment below, and let's keep this conversation going. Don't forget to hit that like button if you found this journey through history and theology as fascinating as I did. Before you go, make sure to subscribe and ring that notification bell. We've got more captivating content coming your way, and I don't want you to miss a thing. Thanks for joining us on Factbox, where curiosity meets knowledge. Until next time, stay curious.